All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Tuesday, March 12th, 2019. Why am I sitting here shaking my head in, in disgust? Because that's really what I'm doing. Uh, we have a lot to talk about. Let's start off with this. As I'm doing this video blog, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is under some pressure. Not much, but some nonetheless. And why? It's Boeing stock, yet again, uh, down about 4%. I want to talk more about that in a moment. Um, let's cover a few more things. So the rest of the major indices are about flat. Bonds are getting bought up. The dollar is falling. Okay, here we go. So we understand um, this last plane crash involving the Boeing 737 MAX 8 rocked Boeing stock yesterday. Uh, at one point, it was down almost 10%. We finished down about 6 for percent for the day. Today we're down about another 4%. Why is that going on here? Okay, yesterday the FAA, the Federal Aviation Authority, said that these these planes are airworthy. Well, why the stock is getting rocked today is because the UK Civil Aviation Authority said, hold on a moment, no. No investigation has been performed yet. It is impossible for these planes to be deemed airworthy, and the stock is getting hammered. Um, so here we have two major civil aviation authorities with absolutely conflicting views. Who do you believe? Me? I believe the UK Civil Aviation Authority here. The FAA has got to play ball. It's about protecting the stock. The U.S. markets are so fake at this point, you cannot believe anything you hear or see. Um, and every effort imaginable and things we can't even dream about, like this, for example, you know, two major civil aviation authorities with totally conflicting views being put forth. It's just, it's unbelievable. It's totally fake. The data we're getting is fake. Um, there is no part of our economy that is real. People are being lied to on a grand scale. You know this. Again, you want to believe the Federal Reserve? Okay, if you, here's the thing, you can't have it both ways. There are many people out here that believe the U.S. economy is so strong. Our president said so, but they hate the Federal Reserve. Meanwhile, the Federal Reserve is saying, this parroting the same thing that our president is saying or vice versa. So you either believe the president you have to believe the Federal Reserve. You have to believe what Jay Powell, chair of the Fed, said yesterday. The U.S. economy is an island among itself. Pretty much that's what he said. Even though the rest of the world is slowing down, our economy can continue to grow. You can't make this stuff up, people. You can't do it. We live in a global economy. We're not an island among ourselves. But there are some, President Trump and Jay Powell, who want you to believe it is. Just like the FAA wants you to believe that the Boeing 737 MAX 8 is safe, even though no studies have been even concluded even remotely about what caused the last crash. Again, UK Civil Aviation Authority says no, these planes are not airworthy. They grounded the entire fleet over there. So look, this just goes back to what you and I already know is completely fake. It's totally fake. But with that... But that also lets us understand what we need to be doing here. Bet against the debt, become your own central bank. The debt bubble is going to be hyperinflated, especially on the back of this, the president's new budget, $4.37 trillion, largest in history. Where's that cash coming from? Where's it coming from? Uh, is it coming from your pocket? My pocket? No. The Federal Reserve is going to print cash out of thin air, dilute the dollar. Interest rates are going to continue to be suppressed. The middle class is going to be robbed, blind, by having an interest earning account. And certain assets are going to continue to inflate until they blow up. That's the plan. Wealth transfer. Wealth transfer. Wealth transfer. A complete elimination and extinction of the middle class. That's what this is all about. A two-tier society is already emerging. We, we barely even have a middle class anymore. Uh, they're, they're in debt beyond their eyeballs. This is not what the middle class was, was just not that long ago. The middle class was the backbone of our country. Now we're being eliminated. We're being eliminated on a grand scale. And the lies 
Just like today, FAA says one thing, UK Civil Aviation Authority says another thing. Protect the stock, protect the stock market, inflate the stock market, keep the illusion real. Make people believe everything is just fine. Replace their minds, erase their brains uh, with a new personality. Use slogans, divisiveness, uh, political agendas to replace their ability to think. That is the bigger picture. And it's working on some, it really is. All right, with that said, anyway, uh, stranger than fiction? I think so. All right, I love all of you, and I'll see you at the end of the day.